Well, we're here outside Sheffield, um, Radio Sheffield. We're here to tell the BBC that they must start reporting the whole of the climate change story. They're getting just slightly less bad at reporting, but they're just not urgent enough. They're not telling the whole truth to the people of Sheffield and everywhere else. We've got just a few years to turn the whole super tanker of our system round. We've got to get on top of the people who are making a profit from pollution. The fossil fuel industry must change. And the only way is for the BBC and other broadcasters to tell the whole truth. Not just little bits that are comfortable, but the whole truth. We all have to stop lying. We have to change our lifestyles. But mostly we need to legislate against the pollution. 60% of all carbon emissions come from a small number, maybe 100 companies. We must legislate, and the BBC must tell the whole truth. So why do you think it's a climate emergency? Well, the science is telling us that we've only got 12 years to break the carbon emissions. If we don't, we're going we're to undermine the very natural systems that have allowed civilization, human civilization to flourish. And if we don't act soon, immediately, we're going to undermine those systems. And that's going to lead to the worst consequences. Food shortages, mass migration, desertification, ocean level rises. And that's just not something you can accept. That's not a situation we can accept. And we're at the BBC today because the public isn't being told the truth about the matter, how urgent things are, how desperate things are. And that's why we're here. We're desperate for change. We're desperate for the truth to be told and for the public to understand that we all need to act now because everything is at stake. All the things we love and all the things we value are at stake and we're not going to lie down and just let let the fossil fuel companies and the, the, the governments that are in the pockets let that happen. Yeah, hello, I'm Heather and I'm outside the BBC. And um, I've been campaigning around climate change must be about 15, 20 years now. But the climate emergency, when it came out, really resonated with me. And there was this statement which, which was, we act in peace. Our hearts are full of ferocious love for these lands. We act on behalf of life. And that just really spoke to my spirit. So to be out here banging pots and pans, demanding or requesting that the BBC really prioritises climate change and what we can all do about it from the government, health service, business, local people, seem to be really, really important. And, and this is where my spirit is at the moment. Is it such an emergency? It's not being taken seriously. And the BBC, it has been improving recently, but we need it to be like top of their priority, like the BBC was for World War II. So to be out here banging pots and pans with other people committed to non-violence and really making a noise and wanting BBC to make a noise and wake up, wake up everybody that this is a climate emergency. This is where I need to be and I'm really pleased to be here. Uh, yeah, so I'm with Extinction Rebellion Sheffield, and Extinction Rebellion is a mass movement happening across the UK trying to raise the alarm about climate change and the ecological crisis. What we're saying is that the government is not doing enough, anywhere near enough, to protect us in a, uh, from you know, near to catastrophe for many millions of people and all manner of wildlife. And so what we're saying is that they need to act now, and so we're calling for them to tell the truth work with the organs of the media like the BBC to get the message out there to the people that this is an emergency situation and we have to act as though it is an emergency. And that means we need to 
to do everything we can to decarbonise our society within a short period of time as possible. Uh, we're saying that we should have public citizens like you and me being in charge of overseeing that process because we just can't trust them anymore. They've been 30 years trying to, uh, we've been waiting for them to do something and they've failed all that time. I think we should bring out to the BBC because they've consistently not paid attention to climate change and the threat of climate change in general, but also our cause. I think something is indicative of how that it's just not the highest priority. It's clearly something they'd rather ignore, and so we need to do it to them so that they need to pay attention to this and hopefully add to the general public and accept their own. Why are we protesting outside the BBC today? What what does the BBC need to do? Well, uh, first and foremost, let's say there is a climate emergency that's happening. Uh, I'm sure we've lived abroad for the past 20 years. I've lived in India, I've lived in Chile, I've lived in Sri Lanka, in Taiwan. And the effects are very tangible, and the poorest people have already seen it, and we're seeing it out here today. I understand the BBC's perspective, they have tried to present a balanced view, but that's not a balanced view. By giving equal credence to climate scepticism, it's skewing the debate, and it's holding the process. Climate change is happening now, we do something now we have 12 years to really really make a difference and really make an effective future for ourselves and for our children and that's really what it's about the BBC needs to step up and you really need to present an argument and a conversation based on what we actually do next not what is happening if it is happening what do we do next that's what we're asking today about was um, how like, on the way here to this protest today I've been um, looking at some articles online and what I noticed was that the BBC article was very kind of glossed over they were not talking about what an emergency this is and how we've got 12 years basically 12 years to, do, to make some radical changes to um, to stop climate change and stop the kind of emergency situation and all the all the kind of catastrophe that's going to happen and yet when I looked at the Guardian article that was talking in a much more broad sense about what actually needs to happen and um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty pissed off about that because the BBC has a, has a very wide reach and it's got a responsibility to tell people the truth so that they know what's happening and, and then once people know what's happening they can tell, tell their um, MPs and the government what they actually want to happen but if people don't know about it then they're not going to be able to do anything. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so, so why is climate change so scary to you? What's, what it's is the big problem? It's scary because, I mean, I'm in Sheffield, I don't live by the sea, but that doesn't mean to say that, that like everything else that happened on the planet doesn't matter. Like, I mean, everybody in the other countries are my brothers and sisters, and I don't want people to suffer. You know, the polar ice caps are melting, which means that there's going to be flooding, and even just like very low people here, they, in Manchester they've been all the wildfires. A very scary. The summer we have this year, I mean I know people like the sun and they like it to be in the but that's really scary. That, uh, that's not what's supposed to be happening in England in the summer. So yeah, I'm actually terrified. <laughs> Thank you.